With Zerto, cross-hypervisor replication is fast and simple. In this video, we'll take a look at using Zerto migration to move from Hyper-V to VMware. Zerto migration helps you transition easily from an outdated hypervisor, enabling you to operate with the most current and supported VM environment. Let's start with a quick overview of how Zerto replication works. Zerto replicates data at the block level from the source VHD or VHDX disks directly to VMDKs in the target VMware vSphere hypervisor. Zerto then simply replicates any changes as they occur continuously from the source disk and inserts them in the target disk format using our Virtual Replication Appliance or VRA technology. It doesn't matter that the underlying virtual disk is a different type. This means that there is no delay waiting for a disk format conversion when migrating or recovering the VM between the hypervisors, therefore maintaining a recovery time objective, or RTO, of just minutes. Zerto follows this process when a move, failover, or failover test is initiated from Microsoft Hyper-V to VMware vSphere ESXi. A new VM is created in ESXi at the highest VM hardware version support for the target host. Target VMDKs are attached to the new VM. VM NICs are added as E1000 adapters and by default are configured with the same IP and MAC address, unless a new IP and or MAC address has been configured in the VPG. The target VM is booted with the same name, disk layout, CPU, and RAM configuration. Now that you know how Zerto replication works, let's make sure we've completed three important things before diving into our migration. First, install Zerto 9.7 Update 4 on a Hyper-V cluster. Zerto 9.7 U4 is the last supported version of Zerto for Hyper-V. For more information, see the Microsoft Hyper-V Support Matrix article on help.zerto.com. Second, install Zerto 10 U1 on VMware cluster. Lastly, pair the sites. Once the prerequisites have been completed, migration takes only four steps. First, create a Virtual Protection Group, or VPG, with the VM you want to migrate. Then, click the Move button. Next, check that the VM was moved successfully. And lastly, commit the move. This demonstration will walk you through the four steps and the selections you can make along the way. Here we are in a typical VM environment. We'll start by opening the Hyper-V Virtual Machine Manager. VM05 is the virtual machine we want to move. Then we'll move over to the VPG tab in Zerto, where we'll create a VPG that includes the VM you want to migrate. A VPG is a logical grouping of VMs of your choosing that will be orchestrated when it comes time to migrate. To create a VPG, we'll select New VPG. Then we'll choose Data Mobility and Migration as our VPG type and add a VPG name. Over the course of the next few screens, we will make sure the same IP, MAC address, and Universally Unique Identifier, or UUID, are set up on the virtual machine once it is migrated to VMware. Here we're selecting the VM to add to the VPG. Now we're selecting the VMware environment to migrate to. And this is where we will choose the disks we're migrating to. Here, we'll select the Network Settings and Recovery folder. And now we'll select the VM and click Edit Selected. This is where we can set up the static IP address, the subnet mask, default gateway, and preferred DNS server. On the summary page, we'll confirm the settings for the VPG, which are all looking great. You can see here that the VPGs are being created. When you're ready to start the migration from Hyper-V to VMware, go to the VPGs tab in Zerto and click the Move button. Select the VPG you'll be migrating. Here, we are having Zerto shut down the VM we are migrating from Hyper-V to VMware. After clicking Start Move, you will see a Commit Policy Warning. 
This warning notifies you that you will have 60 minutes to roll back the operation. Here we can see the move happening in real time. The virtual machine was responding to our ping, and now we can see that during the move it got shut down. Now we can see that it's back online and running in the VMware environment. Now we can go into the VM itself to confirm that it is live in VMware. Going back to our VPGs tab, we'll press the Commit button. The option to enable reverse protection is automatically selected, but since we're moving away from Hyper-V, there's no need to enable it. We will uncheck it and click Commit. We see here that the VM has been successfully migrated from Hyper-V. Wait for the final migration steps to be completed. Then you can validate the migration in VMware. And you're done. You migrated from Hyper-V to VMware in just a few minutes. When migrating from Hyper-V to VMware, there will be a few considerations. First, use only Zerto 10.0 U1. This process does not currently include the installation of VMware tools. To maintain a low RTO, it is therefore recommended to install VMware tools in advance. As the installation of VMware tools requires the VM to be running in VMware vSphere, the VM should be migrated to the target VMware vSphere hypervisor out of working hours, the tools installed, and the VM rebooted. For more information on cross-hypervisor replication, see our blog post on Zerto.com.